Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a device compliance policy for Linux devices using Microsoft Intune. Device compliance policies are a key feature when using Intune to protect our organization's resources. In Intune, we can create rules and settings that devices must meet to be considered compliant such as disk encryption or password. Once compliance policies have been created, they can be assigned to enrolled devices and device groups. Devices will be configured using the compliance policy and become compliant. Each time that a device try to access corporate resources, the policy on the device will be evaluated and its compliance status determined. Only compliant devices will be granted access to the resources. If the device isn't compliant, we can then block access to data and resources using conditional access. Already, I have created a few video guides on device compliance policies for Windows devices. In this video, we will create a device compliance policy for our Ubuntu device. Sign in to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Intune Admin Center using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. We have created one test dynamic device group named test Linux devices. Let me click on it. Under manage, click on members. We can see the Linux device named lab Ubuntu is listed as a member of this group. This is the same Ubuntu device which we have enrolled to Intune in the last video. We will apply the device compliance policy on this group named Test Linux Devices. Click on Devices. Under By Platform, click on Linux. Under Linux Policies, click on Compliance Policies. To create a new policy, select Create Policy. For Linux, compliance settings are available from the Settings Catalog instead of from a predetermined template as seen for other platforms like Windows. Therefore, when configuring a compliance policy for Linux, we choose the settings we want to include in our policy by browsing the catalog and selecting them. Click on Create to continue. On the basic step, type a name Taste Compliance Policy for Ubuntu devices. Add a brief description for the compliance policy. Description is optional but recommended. After entering the description, click Next to continue. On the Compliance Settings tab, Click on Add Settings to browse and search the catalog for the settings you would like to configure for Linux devices. Here we have to drill four different categories. On the Settings, pick a window under the category Select Device Encryption. The Device Encryption category has only one setting, which is Required Device Encryption. Select Required Device Encryption setting. If the Linux device is encrypted, the machine will be compliant, otherwise the device will not be compliant. Next, click on Password Policy. Click on Select all these settings as we are going to choose all five settings. For this example, we have selected these settings. As per your requirement, you can also select Allowed Distribution or Custom Compliance category as well. Close the Settings Speaker window. The Required Device Encryption setting specifies whether 
device level encryption is required for writable fixed disk on this device. Turn the slider to true to enable this setting. Take your mouse pointer over information icon to more about that specific setting. Using minimum digit setting, we can specify the minimum number of digits a password must contain. We will specify two digits. Using minimum length setting, we can specify the minimum number of total characters a password must contain. We want a password must have at least 10 characters. So we will specify the value 10 for this setting. Minimum lowercase will be 4, minimum symbols will be 1, and minimum uppercase will be 1 for our password policy. So you can specify the value based on your organization requirements for password policy. In this test example, I have configured these settings. Click Next. On the Actions for Non-Compliance tab, specify a sequence of actions to apply automatically to devices that don't meet this compliance policy. Already one action is defined. When we create a compliance policy, the Mark Device Non-Compliant action is automatically created and automatically set to immediately. With this action, when the device checks in with Intune and evaluates the policy, if it isn't compliant to that policy, Intune immediately marks that device as non-compliant. If you want, you can define other actions as per your requirement. Click Next to continue. On Scope Tags page, default scope tag is already selected. We will go with the default scope tag for this example. Click on Next. On the Assignments tab, click Add Groups to choose the groups to whom you want to assign this Linux compliance policy. For testing purpose, we have created one test device group named Test Linux Devices. So we will select Test Linux Devices group to apply this policy on all the members of that group. Click on Select. We can see the number of devices on which this policy will apply. In our case, we have only one device in our Test Device group. Click Next. Review the device compliance policy settings that are configured for Linux devices and click on Create. This action will create a new Linux compliance policy in Microsoft Intune. We can see the new compliance policy is created successfully. The devices targeted by our policy are evaluated for compliance when they next time check in with Intune services. Click on Linux Devices. Currently, the device status is compliant for a device named Lab Ubuntu. Now, it is time for testing. Let's go to our Ubuntu VM. First, let me show you the current password of our user account. As you can see, the current user password of this device is 1234. Let's press enter key to sign in to this Ubuntu device. This VM is part of Taste Linux Devices group. So the compliance policy will apply on this Ubuntu device. Let me remind you again that the device has full disk encryption enabled, but the current user password is 1234. So as per a device compliance policy, the user password is not matching the requirements specified in the compliance policy. This will cause device to be non-compliant due to weak password assigned to user. If you haven't opened Intune app yet, open Microsoft Intune app and click on refresh and wait for the status to update. Currently, it is checking the compliance status of our lab Ubuntu device.
After waiting for around 6 minutes, finally the device state is changed to not compliant. As you can see, the device status is changed to not compliant. Click on view issues to get more information about why this device is not compliant. We can see the reason of non-compliance, it is user's password. At top of every setting, we can see a message enforce a secure password. There is a link to get help on how to resolve the issue. But we know the reason that we have a simple password for a user account and that is causing this device to be a non-compliant. Let me click on back. So the device is currently not compliant. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center to confirm the same thing. Still a device is display as a compliant. The reason because this information is not up to date. So let's click on refresh to see the updated information in Intune portal. Okay now finally we can see Compliance status is changed to non-compliant. Click on a device name Lab Ubuntu. Under monitor, click on device compliance. We can see our test compliance policy state is not compliant. Click on our test compliance policy name. We can see required device encryption setting state is compliant and so does for minimum digits. As a user password is 1234, so minimum digits requirement is matching with the current password. But other password related settings are not compliant with the current user password. The device is non-compliant with the new policy because of the password settings. If you change the user password according to compliance policy, after few minutes, the device will become compliant again. Let's go back to our Ubuntu VM. Uh, let me close this. Let's open settings. Click on settings. Click on users. And let's change our user password. Our current password is 1234. Now I'm going to set up a strong password. Ok, let's click on change, perfect. Uh, let me close this and let's again open Intune app. Click on sign in. Ok, currently it is checking the status. Since we have set up a strong password for our user account, according to our compliance policy, now our device status is changed to compliant. Let me click on refresh one more time and let's go back to Intune portal to see the updated information. Uh, let's click on Linux devices, click on refresh and let's see the compliance status. We need to wait a little longer to see the updated information in Microsoft Intune Admin Center. After waiting for 2 minutes, finally the device compliance status is changed to compliant. Since the current user password is matching our compliance policy and that's why now the device state is compliant. That's all for this video on how to create compliance policy for Linux devices using Microsoft Intune. We have also tasted the result of the compliance policy. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.